Hey guys, Liz here. Well, today I am going to be rearranging this display you see behind me. Why would I do such a thing? Because I'm crazy for decorating and I get bored with my displays or sometimes I sit and I look at it and I think about it and I'm like, I know how I can make that look better and then I rearrange it. So that's what's going on today. But let me give you a little backstory. So on Sunday, my husband and I went to this antique store and there's about three or four vendors in this antique mall that take old antiques, but they breathe new life into them and bring them to current. So I see this husband and wife taking their antiques off the truck and they're bringing them in and before they even bring and set this item down I'm like is that is that, excuse me excuse me is that for sale they're like yes it is ma'am I said I'll take it and so I basically went and grabbed it from the man's hand and I went bye so true and anyway this is an old antique painting or it used to be a painting that they chalkboarded black You see where I'm going with this? See, see the old um, frame? I love old frames. So we're gonna remove this window and the wreath. I may keep the lights and the garland and string it on the top of this. And then I went to Walmart and I picked up some of these chalk crayons. So we're gonna have fun removing that, adding this, probably adding the lights on the garland, and then we're gonna chalk, use this chalk to create some sort of a false signage and maybe add some pumpkins. I'm no artist, so God only knows how it's gonna turn out, but that's what we're gonna work on today. Sound fun? If so, stick with me and let's go, let's get busy. So I've just unplugged my lights, and I'm gonna see if I can just take the whole thing down in one fail swoop. This may be a big fail, so get ready to laugh. So I know I'm probably gonna get some comments like, Liz, that was dangerous. I know, I'm sorry. I do crazy stuff like that all the time. Um, I don't know if you guys know this little bit tidbit about me. I hang all my stuff by myself in the house. I do not have my husband do it. And when I decide to rearrange the furniture, I don't ever ask for help. I do it all myself. Now, if I have to move something up or downstairs that's super, super heavy, then I'll ask for help. But um, I do it all. I do it all. I'm used to getting up on ladders and chairs and weird things just to get it the way I want it. And um, so far, so good, you know. I think I'm really good with spatial relations. I can eyeball something and just hang it, and it works. Whereas my husband, he's a man. He's different. If I say, sure. Maybe I'll hang a picture over there. He'll, he's like, okay, let me run and get my toolbox, the level, the measuring tape, the screwdriver, some screws, you know, all that stuff. And I'm just like, this is going to be a project. Whereas I just eyeball it. I'm like, okay, this is the height I want it at. This is where it's going to go. Or screw it in. Done. It's done in like five minutes as opposed to a half an hour. So yeah, this girl does it all herself. I'm gonna go set this over there. What do y'all think? I actually like it, but we need to take away the rain, rain, go away, because we've got sunshine today. So I guess that little saying works. My favorite glass cleaner on the planet. So I'm just gonna spray the chalk pour down and uh, then we're gonna get busy.
Now we can have some fun. Now I've got my garland and lights and I'm gonna try to string them over the top because I gotta have these little orange bulby lights because at night it looks so cute. You guys can find these. I found these at Harris Teeter grocery store of all places. And I heart these. I heart these so much. All right. Now I'm getting up on my chair. I don't want to hear a peep out of you guys, okay? You know, I'm just joking. But I am getting up on my chair. I still need to buy a step stool. Here we go. So we're going to go in with a green crayon. Here we go. Apple cider pumpkin pie. Going in with the orange. Apple cider pumpkin pie. Fall is here. My oh my. Where's my white crayon? Now I'm going to go in with the yellow. Apple cider pumpkin pie. Fall is here. Ma, oh ma. Okay, let's add some pumpkins. Again, see, I told you I'm no artist. We need a brown and a green. That's not brown. Y'all, I'm no artist, but you get the gist of it. What else could I do? Apple cider pumpkin pie. Fall is here. My oh my! I feel like I need some palm. -palm. Okay, guys, I you don't know this, but after I wrote that up, I had to grab my car keys and leave and run some errands, and now I'm back. And let's just say I'm less inspired to play with chalk right now. I'm just not feeling it, and. Sometimes in decorating, if you don't like what you've done, you got to take a step back 
and think about it. And so I think what I need to do is do some Google searches on chalkboard designs for fall. And then I'm sure I'll be inspired and can create a cute design. So I'm going to take a couple steps back and do something else. What can I show you? Okay, I've had lots of requests for how do I attach my shop lights in the kitchen to my cabinetry. So I'm going to show you that. So if you're into farmhouse uh, and you want the farmhouse look and feel, or you simply just want brighter lights in your kitchen, um, this might be for you. And it's super easy. I first want to share that these lights were, how much were they? I got them at Lowe's. And I believe they were $6.99 each. And I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have seven shop lights. And um, anyway, I've had a lot of requests on how do I attach them or how much are they. So again, Lowe's. Six or seven ninety nine each, and super easy to attach to your cabinets, and I love them. I don't only use them on my cabinets, but like my old shutters or doors, I clamp them on for that farmhouse look. So super cute. In fact, I do have some extra lights that would be cute attached to that. Might have to try that out. That may be in the works too. Sometimes you gotta just play and see if what, what works and what doesn't. But anyway, enough of me talking, let's get back in that kitchen. Okay guys, there's my kitchen. And you can see all the shop lights up top. I did uh, have the cabinets backlit and we decided to take that uh, rope lighting off because for some reason when I was taking pictures, it was looking like I had yellow walls behind and I don't, and now I like it. It's crisp and it's white and it's clean. But um, it really makes the kitchen nice and bright, and I love it. So, let me grab a chair so I can get up there and show you. Don't worry, I'll be safe, I won't fall. I promise. I'm gonna get up there so I can show you how we've done it. Okay. There you can see we've got an outlet. And my hus husband has it plugged into some timer, so the lights come on when we get up for coffee in the morning and then they go off uh, about the time we go to bed. So I love it. But anyway, they're plugged in up here. And that's how the light works, looks. And then, see this clamp? You just squeeze it. And then you can place it right where you want it. Let's see. And I typically put mine right in the center of the cabinet. But I absolutely love them. And see these little holes they have at the top? So at night, they reflect these little lights up here on the ceiling, and it looks really cool. Oh, by the way, also too, I've, I've had a lot of um, people ask where I got that clock. I got that at Tuesday morning on clearance. So if you like it, check there. And oh, I love, see these lights right here? I love those. Look how those reflect on the ceiling. Pretty cool, right? So... That's all there is to these lights. Very simple. They just clamp right on. Easy, easy peasy. And cheap, cheap, cheap.
Here's my hutch. My cappuccino bar. Here's the wine refrigerators. Here's my little tree decorated that I showed you the other day. Oh, and somebody asked me about that. That is a spring rod that I got at Walmart and I hung, I guess the question was how did I hang my leaves? And I just used wire. Um, you could use floral wire, you could use anything you wanted to hang it. But I, I knew that the wire would wrap around the pole and then I just dropped it. And I got the wire from the craft department at Walmart. They had like copper looking ones, like amber looking ones. Um, so that's just what I used to hang my leaves. And there you can see my shop lights again. Okay guys, well that's it for today. Not too exciting, I apologize. Uh, me having to run errands today kind of threw a kink into things, but um, I think this turned out pretty cute and I'll work on my little chalkboard design and if I come up with anything cute, I'll be sure to share it. All right guys, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.